Hello and welcome to Periwood TV News. I'm your host, Mr. Ash, and today I am live from my kitchen to bring you a very special message. Today, 20th of June, marks the start of a very special week. If you didn't already know, it's National School Sports Week. That's right, the children's charity, Youth School Trust, have launched this campaign every year and this year it's in its 12th year. Now it looks a bit different this year and it's been given a different name. It's National School Sports Week at home. As some of us are at home, some of us are at school. But the point of this week is to bring us all together using the power of sport to get our community spirit going and get people active. Now, Obviously here at Perrywood, we like to get people sporty, we like to be active, and we couldn't wait to take part. News just in, I've got our live correspondent, Mr. Ash here, who's just live with our head teacher, Mrs. Beston, who has a few words about National School Sports Week. Over to you, Mr. Ash. Hello, Mr. Ash here, reporting for Periwood News, and today we are joined by Mrs. Beston, Periwood's head teacher, and we just wanted to ask you a few questions about our Sports Week next week. Are you looking forward to Sports Week? Oh, I'm really, really excited about it. It's going to be an amazing week for the whole of Periwood. Fantastic, because as you know, it starts today, Saturday, so the children won't be in school today, they'll be at home. What are you looking forward to the most about Sports Week? I'm looking forward to seeing all the amazing sports that children are getting up to at home and at school and how well they're doing with the challenges because I know you're setting them some hard challenges aren't you? We are indeed. Thank you for that Mrs Beston. Back to you Mr Ash in the studio. Thank you Mr Ash and Mrs Beston. Now this week couldn't have come at a better time. We've all been at home, maybe stuck indoors for quite a while and it has been hard to keep us active as maybe we usually are. Well, this week is here to change that. We not only want to get you active, but we also want you to challenge your families to get active. And we want you to take part with your families in some healthy competition to see who can win and to be active together. This is what it's all about, bringing people together. Now, each day we'll be uploading some challenges for you to take part in. And even though it's Saturday, today is no exception. We're about to go live with Mr. Ash, the PE coordinator at Perrywood, to find out what challenge he has got for us to start off this fantastic week. Hello, Mr. Ash here, PE coordinator at Perrywood, live on this beautiful Saturday morning from Droitwich, and today I have the honour of showing you your first challenge for our sports week. So, today's challenge is going to be a track and field challenge based on sort of the Olympics running events, and we're going to be doing a sprint start. Okay, so what you're going to do, you're going to start from different start positions, you're going to give yourself a distance, so I'm going to go from here all the way to those trees over there, that's going to be my distance, okay, and what you're going to do, you're going to start from different positions, you're going to set your timer and you're going to time yourself how quickly you can run that distance, now you might start from standing up like this, you might start from on your knees like this, you may start on your belly like this, any way you want to, you've got to see how quickly you can run. Can you beat your time? Can you get faster? Do different start positions make you quicker? Right, back to you in the studio. I'm off. Thank you, Mr. Ash. I don't know about you guys, but I will definitely be trying that this weekend. Now, unfortunately, that's all we've got time for. I really hope you enjoyed it. We won't be on air tomorrow as it's Sunday, but we will be back Monday with another challenge and hopefully some special guests. If I don't see you before, stay active and enjoy the weekend. Bye for now.